the 1970s. An era certainly remembered for bell bottoms, sexual revolution, Rocky, Star Wars, and the rise of disco. But for many, it was also an era of inflation, economic struggle, cultural and political controversy, crises, and change. This is not an invasion of Cambodia. The oil-producing countries of the Arab world decided to use their oil as a political weapon. We must ask everyone to lower the thermostat in your home by at least six degrees. Gasoline shortages are spreading across the country. Odd even service, gasoline lines, and closed gas stations are becoming increasingly common. I shall resign the presidency effective at noon tomorrow. I, Jimmy Carter, do solemnly swear that I will faithfully execute that I will faithfully execute the office It's of no President wonder that in this turbulent States. decade, primetime American television viewers often sought out programs that provided a comfortable respite from modern daily life. Whether it be family drama, 1950s nostalgia, or the everyday relatable comedy of the workplace, TV comedies and lighter-hearted fare were certainly in demand. It was the success of TV sitcoms, in particular, that contributed greatly to the rise of Network ABC from third-place struggler to number one by 1976. By the following year of 1977, seven comedies showed up in TV's top ten shows. And one of the biggest names in the sitcom world at the time was that of Gary Marshall. It's the story behind the 1979 Donna Pescow series, Angie, on the next Forgotten TV. We'll break down the episodes, the guest stars, the dated cultural references, and of course, go behind the scenes. As I've talked to actresses Sharon Spellman, Kit McDonough, Carolita White, singer Maureen McGovern, and writer-producers Alan Eisenstock and Larry Mintz, who developed Angie into a series. Hear the previously untold story about the original unseen pilot for Angie that featured different actors. The Larry Mintz joke used on Angie that became a TV trope used again and again over the decades. Go behind the scenes of Paramount Television during this classic TV era. What was it like as Angie, Happy Days, Laverne and Shirley, Taxi, Mork and Mindy, and the Bad News Bears were all in production on the same lot? Not to mention the movie Airplane, also starring Angie's Robert Hayes. And hear about the Laverne and Shirley spinoff that never was. What did Maureen McGovern think about her hit song? And more. Information never before revealed will be heard in this upcoming 40th episode of Forgotten TV. Subscribe today on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Podbean, or your podcast app of choice.